Hey friends, Tux here. I just got this mystery box and opened it up. I wasn't quite sure what was in it and I was amazed at the awesome stuff in here. Check this out. My friends at One by One sent me over some gaming gear. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this stuff. We'll go ahead and make two videos out of this, but we basically have this awesome 7.1 virtual gaming headset. Very sleek and stylish and a really cool gaming mouse. Let's go ahead and check these bad boys out. Okay, for this video, we'll go ahead and take a look at the mouse, and I'm going to do a separate video later for the headphones in the upcoming days. But anyway, check it out, guys. I definitely love the style of this. The retail packaging is very nice. It's kind of a matte material here, very soft, not too glossy. It looks very stylish, nice black matte look to it with an aggressive red top here, gaming mouse. So very cool. We got a red bottom on the back here. It talks about a few of the features, actually. The left button, score wheel, forward, back. Um, there's a DPI button there. A right button LED light showing one on one features changing LED light color when it used for adjustable DPI, which is 800, 1200, 1600, and 2400. Rubber spray surface, very cool, and 1.6 cable length. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have on the inside. We'll check it out. Carefully pop that open. Definitely like the packaging. And the packaging to me means a lot, actually. Like, I like the fact that it's not just like a brown cardboard OEM box. They actually go to make a nice looking product. All right, let's see. We'll pull this out. We'll check out the mouse in one second. And here is the little instruction book. Very cool. Gaming mouse, six buttons and four adjustable DPI. All right, go ahead and take a look at this. Looks like they have a few different languages. I really like the one by one little manuals they have uh different languages all set up for you they got english first so you're all covered and looks like there's very quick basic instructions here you can go ahead and pause that if you need to taking a look at specifications usb dc 5 volts everything looks good and it goes right into the other languages so very um simple basic kind of get gaming fast as you can no huge necessary instructions this thing is gonna be plug and play i can tell already which is great We'll go ahead and pull this out here. Comes in a nice little bag. Keep it all nice and sanitary and <laughs> nice and clean. Oh, this does have a really nice surface. This surprises me a little bit. Wow, okay. Um, wow, very interesting. It's a very light mouse, I'll say, which is very good for quick moving, um, but it has a very good rubbery. Like this here, this shiny top part here is kind of just like a regular glossy plastic look to it. I don't know if the camera's catching this as good as I want it to. Um, and the sides here have kind of a rubber coating to them, actually. It looks like we're going to have to see some light action here in the, like, the little side with some translucent plastic. And we have some translucent plastic up through here. Kind of almost like a Tron kind of look to it uh, with a little sharp, cool, aggressive line. And down here we have the one by one logo. And this whole top part here is kind of rubbery, which is really good. So while you're playing Overwatch or Counter-Strike or whatever you play, StarCraft, it's very quick and clickable. And I love the way this has like a long throw mouse. So no matter where your hand falls, this thing is going to click good. It has kind of a mechanical feel to it. Listen to the click. Um, it doesn't say it's like a mechanical uh, switches or anything. Um, but anyway, it feels it feels very nice. Now you don't need a whole lot of pressing. Every now and then, like on a laptop mouse, you get these like uh, left right touches where you have to like really jam it down to make it work. This feels very nice. It needs just enough pressure to make it work. You're not gonna hit it by accident, but has a good feel to it. I really like that rubbery soft feeling. The wheel itself does have rubber on, so this does scroll real nicely. You're not gonna have any problems with changing weapons or whatever. And here, of course, we have a DPI button. The cord itself is a nice plastic, kind of thick. Um, nothing too, too, thrills on this is kind of a basic cord you know and we'll go ahead and plug this in and take a look and see what this is all about if it'll work on different systems i'll be right back okay i dimmed the room lights here a little bit so you can get kind of a look at what the lighting looks like now there still is a lot of bright lighting as you can see here in the room all around <laughs> a lot of bright lighting uh, but this will give you kind of an idea what this looks like definitely has a cool oh i like that you got the like the purple and blue kind of look to it I'm digging the look of this. Um, of course, a nice red light in the bottom, of course, for the mouse. And of course, we do have some shine through here. So I love the way the colors blend a little bit. I really didn't expect that kind of rainbowy thing going on. See how it's like more reddish up here, purple, and it just kind of blend through, which is really nice looking. Uh, very cool. Love the style to it. I did plug this into two different machines, a Windows 10 and a Windows 8 machine. And of course, I had no problem recognizing it either. And this feels really good. I mean, this, if you need a good mouse that is going to help you a lot in gaming 
has a good rubbery grip to it and not cost you a whole lot. This is a good, you know, beginning mouse for you. And I really like the style of it. I'm really digging the, the red shining through, making that kind of like purple and red look to it. That's really kind of unique actually compared to a lot of them. And of course the one by one light stuff. So really cool. I want to thank one by one for sending this over to me. I'm going to experiment with this mouse. I'm going to play some Overwatch. Of course, I'm going to BlizzCon later this year. I'm so excited about that. And um, so I'll be likely to talk about one by one when I go to BlizzCon with my gamer friends. So very cool. Um, if you have any experiences with this, let me know. But so far I'm digging, I'm digging the feel, especially what strikes me is the best part is I really love this. It has kind of a ribbed rubbery feel to it. So I really think gaming, this is going to be like, good non-slip and definitely a quick response mouse you know and it really i really recommend saving money on mice like i would go for all my friends who play esports they don't go for the the highest most expensive mouse they'd rather spend that money on a you know graphic card or something more expensive you know mice you just want a good quality gaming mouse that is fun has good attraction like the way it looks and uh, that'll get you through the game so this is definitely that mouse for you if you have any questions about this mouse please let me know in the comments below here okay and and I'd be happy to answer for you. But I think this is a good value. You can check it out. Um, it is available on Amazon.com, I believe. And I'll have a link of the, in the description down below. But thanks for watching, friends. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.